Of all the qualities you need to get to single figures, all the mechanical skills, the driving, the chipping, the putting, to go along with that, you need some patience. Patience to wait for your opportunities. And patience to ignore difficult shots. Like this one. I'm on a downslope. There's a bunker between me and the flag. All I want to do is hit the green. All I want to do is to get on the golf course. Get on safely. Get my first par. You know, sometimes just getting a par is enough. You don't need to try any harder than that. And sometimes strange things can happen. I've missed this tree by six inches and it's finished in the perfect position. But this is a real smelly flag on the left. So I'm going to have the patience and leave it alone. Having patience also means knowing that a bogey can't be avoided and to make sure that you do get a bogey but also give you a chance at a par. I can't stop this ball by the flag because I'm landing on a downslope. My only chance of a par is, is holding a 20 footer and so I give myself that chance. And I've only just missed it. My first hook of the day that I'm struggling with. But I'm not going to try anything stupid. I'm going to trust myself. I'm going to believe in myself. that If I get this out to a wedge distance, I got a chance to make my par. And I've done just that. I give myself a hundred yards. And if you're single figures, or you want to get to single figures, these are the shots that you practice. I don't get this one right, but I'm near enough. I've given myself a chance of the par. And I don't know how I've missed that. It's finished behind the hole. Now, no matter how hard you try, sometimes nothing goes right. Hit a flat hook. I'm just hitting a short iron here. Get it back into play. And I'm really happy with that. But I've hit it too far. And now I have no chance. So even if you do try very hard, sometimes you're just gonna get it up the aris. And I can't get this close either. Landing on the downslope, not a chance. I got a bogey putt. But that's the first double on the card. No shot tracer here, the machine was playing up. So that's my anti left swing, and I blocked it out of bounds. Second time around, three off the tee. No mulligans here, every shot counts. This time around, I actually hit it properly. But I'm heading for my second double bogey. That's five over after six holes. 
my game is over, my card is in shreds, I quit, right? Well, no. You see, if you're a decent golfer, and you're heading for single figures, or you've got to single figures, you're eight or nine handicap, whatever you are, maybe 10 or 11, you know that you are a good golfer. You've got to trust yourself and believe in yourself that it's going to turn around, that you're going to start grinding out the pass. Maybe a birdie or two if you're lucky. Under hitting putts. So instead of being for a while now, five over after six, you're five over after ten, and then you're five over after thirteen. And you just keep going. The good golf is in there. All you got to do is find it. And be patient. It will happen. What seems to be my favourite point on this par five behind this tree hitting a flat hook with a four iron. But that means I've still got a birdie chance. All right, it's with a six iron, but I got a birdie chance. And if I don't get the birdie, I've got me par. And we keep going, and we keep grinding out the pars. Anybody care to tell me where the hell that's been? Past few holes? And this is what I really mean about trusting yourself and believing in yourself and not doing anything stupid. Get it out. Get it on. And get it in. Five over after 11. That doesn't sound so bad now, does it? Although we've got to play this hole. We've got to play the 12th. A hole I struggle to reach in too. Especially when the ground is soft after three weeks of rain. And 15 is the same. 
it's a bit of a stretch for me. Not getting any roll. When it's a bit of a stretch, you get some awkward pitches where you're pitching up. You don't always have control over how far the ball's going to go. But if you can get it on, then you can get it in. Sometimes. So again, back tee, north wind, soft ground, I'm a long way back, I'm on an upslope, I'm going up to a green, I need everything in the bag. And I just can't get it there. It landed near the top and it's come back about 12 feet. And again, another awkward pitch. And again, another longish putt for par. But maybe tomorrow, I chip him closer, and I par them both. Well, the following day I did 50% better. I got one of them in, and one of them beside the hole. So now we're six over after 15. All that patience, all that trust, all that belief in ourself, all that knowing that we are good golfers and not quitting and finding a way to grind out the pass. And all of a sudden, we start getting birdie chances. Now, I don't take this one, but I'm not far away. And it's another par on the card. It's another hole ticked off where the score hasn't gone up and that's what we really need to get the single figures you know, I can't make enough birdies to get rid of those double bogeys but I can certainly stretch the pars out and keep stretching those pars out if I'm patient if I trust myself if I believe I can do it then I can do it. It also helps if you can lag a bit, but that's down to the practice that you're going to do to get the single figures. And after all those hooks, I've started driving the ball better. 
This is steeply downhill, but the ball is above my feet, and with loft in your hand, there's always a chance of a pull, and unfortunately, I've done just that. Fortunately, we have lift and place in the bunkers, because there's no rakes, because if you touch a rake, you'll die instantly, just the same way as if you touch a flag, you will die instantly.